Warning, Resident Evil 4 may contain imagery and scenes of brutal violence. While this is pretty awesome, it is just a video game. As such, actions depicted in-game are fictional. If such imagery and actions disgust you or you have a weak stomach, you can enjoy one of my many other Let's Plays. With that said, enjoy! When I was younger, my old father would say The only thing worth having was found at the end of each day But that was then and this is now and he's far gone And his voice had lingered on for far too long He said, my fearless son, you can't be stronger than them all Their bullets control the sky and if the jungle would we fall And you need an alibi just to pass by in this life Cause your show can't protect you from death Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Resident Evil 4. In the last episode, we got attacked by a bunch of crazy people and a chainsaw guy, which was not fun at all. So, uh, in this episode, we're just going to keep trying to go through and find Ashley. We got a note here about the blue medallions, the one that we just saw hanging. 15 blue medallions, 17, 7 in the farm, 8 in the cemetery, and for those of you who destroyed 10 or more, you will be rewarded, which is actually a really good reward, I might add. So you're going to want to do this. Let's see if we can hit this one with our... Nice. Oh, that's just one that's barely out of reach. Uh, all the times I've played this game, I've never tried to hit these things with my knife. So we're going to try hitting a couple with our knives. You're going to get shot. And kick your face. Oh, like, I mean, I'm going to kick you in the face. Oh, I missed. It's not that time. Yeah, you shotgun shells. And we're gonna knife you. I don't wanna waste my ammo on you. Right in the face. Knifed in the face. Speaking of knifing things. <laughs> really? I, I wanna know what they're saying. I looked it up one time, and I, but I forgot. And from what I could tell, they're actually saying racist things. Like, well, not racist, I guess. They're saying oh, mean things. Here we get an egg that literally disappeared in front of our face. Which I think was a gold egg, too. Which are, they're pretty rare. Gold eggs heal all your HP. The eggs that you can find, that the chickens drop, they heal your HP. White heals a little bit. Brown heals more. And uh, gold heals all. Gold heals all. That's something to live by. Let's go over here and let's go to get the treasure that's hanging right here. Okay, so there's a couple things with this. If you check, man, it stinks. And yes, it does. And there's two ways you can ruin this. If you want to get the treasure, you think you come up here and press X, right? Well, you have to shoot it down. But if you shoot it now, it drops into this vat of stinky right here. So you have to shoot this. But then you might be thinking, if you if I didn't tell you to shoot it, you might be thinking, oh, just come up here and press X. If you press or open it, if you come up here and press your action button, it opens it. So you have to shoot it first, and then you get to take it. Because then if you don't shoot it, it just opens it. And if you shoot it down into the water, it lowers the value of the pendant. And that's that's not good. We don't want to do that. That'd be bad. Well, it wouldn't really be bad. You get less money for it, but... Yay, you can call me Leon, the terrorizer of chickens. That's... That's a new name. Leon, the Terrorizer of Chickens. Okay, so there should be somebody up there. Should. Keyword. And yes, he is. Shot in the nose. Or face. But he was holding his nose. So, it looked comical. I'm just going to say he got shot in the nose. You can jump! <laughs> Sounds like he's crying. Okay, well he missed, but if they throw stuff at you guys like that, you can shoot the item that they're throwing and it'll deflect it. So that's a good thing to note. 
But he missed anyway, so I guess it doesn't really matter. And more ammo. I'm probably going a little overboard with saving my ammo, but you know, you can never be too careful. I mean, look how much ammo we have. 34. I mean, uh, you'd think I'd have a lot more, but, you know, I don't, so. Uh, shoot this medallion here. Shoot the medallion. Ugh. And that's the reason why you need to save your ammo. <laughs> Come on. Shoot the stupid medallion. There we go. <laughs> that took way longer than it should have. I disgraced myself with medallion shooting. Come over here, there should be one right here on this windmill thing. And then one off there in the distance. This one's gonna be real hard too. Oh, come on, I was right on it. Shoot the stupid medallion, Leon. Ah. Uh, I don't understand why it took me that long, it's because it shakes real bad. If it didn't shake that as bad, that'd be fine. And here we get a beer stein. Uh, this is a treasure that you can sell, just like along with those spinals that I've been picking up. But uh, you don't want to sell it uh, as is. There's things we can do to it that'll make it worth more. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, and we're going to come back here. Get this medallion that I almost forgot. I didn't forget it. I mean, I know where all the medallions are, but still. Um, and then we can look at our map. You can see the blue. I need to go get that medallion, too. Which I knew was there, but... And it's just right there. But those blues... The blue icons on the map are where the medallions are, so it, it doesn't screw you too bad. Oh, seriously? I really hate you. Not the medallions, Leon and the gun. Because I hate not being able to shoot. Okay, and then there's one more thing we need to do before we leave this area. Over there, that is the door that we need to go through. But there's something we need to do over here, which we're going to go do. Because more money, more money, more problems. But in real life, uh, well, in, in well, not real life, but in Resident Evil 4, more money means better guns. So, well, eventually. And so we get the spinal and some ammo, which is good. Uh, the spinals, they're literally just sellable loot. Um, in this door, you can't go through it. It'll tell you that you can't go through it. You need, it's, it's barred from the other side, and you need, uh, if you had two people, you could probably get through it. Which means that later there's going to be backtracking. Okay. So, please door and loading screen, please work for me, because this is the second time that I'm having to record this, because going through this door crashed Resident Evil 4. <sighs> Here's to nothing. Don't crash. Yay! <laughs> I don't know why it crashed last time, but whatever. I mean, we just go. No danger. I mean, there's no people. Just a strolling path down the side of a mountain or a hill. Until those three people from way back at the beginning of the game blow a boulder at me. Or I like to think that it's those three people at the beginning of the game that we saw. But those are probably. <laughs> Oh, those three, pro those three people, are, yeah, probably went and told the town we were coming. Uh, there's nothing back up. There, well, there's people out there. <gasps> I can. I didn't know I could do that. That's new to me. Oh, well, I probably screwed myself out of the money, but I didn't know I could do that. Oh, there's nothing else up this path. Um, <laughs> I wish there was. It'd be cool if they just hit stuff back there. But I didn't know I could shoot them. That's new. As much as I've played this game, I'm still finding new stuff out, which is really cool. I'm gonna spinal here. 
bats there. Can we shoot the bats? We can't shoot the bats. Though I don't think they give anything, so... And we'll get another spinal there. Yay! This next part's a little mean, and it's the introduction to something that I really hate. See what he's holding in his hand? Those two guys are holding dynamite. It's the introduction of dynamite. We can shoot the dynamite out of his hand. If I don't miss. You'd think that somebody pointing a gun at you would be Ha ha! You'd think you'd go and throw your dynamite and light it. But I guess not. Let's get the other guy. Come on, we can we can kill him. Or I could shoot him in the head. <laughs> that works too. Okay, these bats are in my way as well, so I'm not even gonna bother. Though he just throw it at me. So over here, you're gonna wanna shoot. Let's back up and try. Yes, we can seriously. You're either going to want to shoot that guy back there, or the dynamite that's strapped to the wall. Either one. I'm going to try shooting the guy. Or he can come running towards me. That works, too. Actually, that, that works really well. Oh, or he can walk around it. He happens to be holding dynamite, too. I'm not even going to bother. Cool thing is if they do light it though, oh I only have five shots left. Cool thing about the dynamite is if they light it and you shoot them and they fall over, um, you can wait for the dynamite to go off and it'll kill the people around them. Just interesting. Uh, I'm running low on ammo. I shouldn't have tried to do that. I, I do, well we have the shotgun so I guess that's not too bad. So let's not dis no. I wanted to get up the menu, not discard. Alright. So let's run up here. And let's shoot him through the door. And let's have him kill himself. Because this dynamite's gonna go off before he can. I guess it doesn't go off that fast. Or it only goes off when you kill him. In which case. Eh. Blow up, blow up, blow up, please. <laughs> it's actually really funny to do that too. And here we get some handgun ammo, which we need. That's another reason why I'm saying save your handgun ammo, because there's going to be situations where you're going to need to expel a lot of ammo, and uh, you're going to end up getting screwed. So. At every corner, or cut corners with your ammo as best as you can. Because you're going to need every shot of it. Okay. So let's shoot this down. This is a treasure. Uh, if you look at the map, you don't see anything here. Um, eventually, there's some, you'll be able to buy a map. Um, and they'll show stars on the map where these treasures will be. So where that beer stein was, where this is, uh, and where chests are, you'll be able to see it. When you come to this map, there'll be little stars. Like right where I'm standing, there'd be a star there for that uh, cat's eye. I think it was a cat's eye. Anyways, this is what I'm talking about making it worth more. You can combine treasures in this game. Uh, and this thing has three slots in it. So there's different cat's eyes. I think it's red and green and yellow and once you combine all three it'll get the most out of it. The cat's eyes normally are worth a low amount. The beer stein I think is worth 10,000 and the cat's eyes are worth anywhere I think from 2,000 to 5,000 but once you insert that cat's eye into the beer stein it raises the price up more than what you would get by selling the cat's eye on its by itself. So it, it raises the price exponentially so it's way more lucrative to combine things and then sell them later rather than just selling them as you get them. I mean, if you need the money, there's nothing that's stopping you to sell them as you get them, but it's, I don't, uh, 
I, I suggest you wait and combine and save. There's a weird banging in the background, but I guess we're going to have to find out what that banging is next time on Let's Play Resident Evil 4. Have a good day.